we do want to introduce you to someone who has impacted the agronomic practices, even for thousands of farmers within the state. And WCI3's ag reporter Stu Ellis tells us about how one man helped conquer the environmental challenges in this morning's Harvest Heritage Report. Dan Schaefer was singled out at last week's soybean summit for all he's done for Illinois farmers. And that began in the early 70s. About 31 years in ag retail full time um, with Align IFS. I was a crop specialist, uh, certified crop advisor, and um, um, worked with farmers throughout the uh, Align IFS's trade area. Every, every season uh, we sat down, we, we planned out uh, soil testing. Um, I was I felt soil testing was very important to track the longevity of how long um, we're applying fertilizer, where those numbers were going. When they got too high, we cut back on fertilizer. Some on-farm, um, if you would, uh, projects, some discovery projects, some projects that the farmer would ask a question and we would try to answer that question on his farm. The natural fit was to start doing the nitrogen rate trials, the MRTN. And that was probably my first realization that we really need to pay attention to what we do when we apply nutrients. It, it, it's not just affecting that farm and that crop, it's affecting a whole watershed and, um, and the rivers and stuff contained within that watershed. Schaefer works with the Fertilizer and Chemical Association on research projects funded by the Nutrient Research and Education Council, such as those directed by the U of I's Lowell Gentry. Well, Dan Schaefer is uh, a very practical agronomist with a lot of experience, and uh, I don't think we could get all this research done without him. Um, he, uh, he knows the farmers that we work with. He can speak their language better than I can, um, and so it's really important to have him as a liaison between the university and the farmers that we work with. Schaefer says he's happy to see younger folks following in his footsteps. Illinois Soybean Association, Illinois Corn Growers, they're bringing young people in into the fold now. There's young, there's a lot younger folks that are going to take up this, these questions and answer them on farmers' fields, and I think that's great. That's our Harvest Heritage Report. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA3, your local news leader.